from the historical era we have many paintings from famous personalities but why mona lisa painting is always special welcome to facts of the fact mona lisa mona lisa painting was done by leonardo da vinci between the year 1503 to 1506 it was done using oil in popular panel the actual size of the painting is 77 cm into 53 cm da vinci painted it using a very particular technique sfumato it is a painting technique from softening the transition between colors mimicking an area beyond what the human eye is focusing on or the out of focus plane that is why in the portrait the viewer can feel that mona lisa eyes is focusing us with 15 degree difference wherever we stand have you ever noticed that mona lisa have no eyebrows two theory posts that some craftsman made a mistake while restoring the painting and accidentally erased her eyebrows and the other version of even suggests that da vinci never finished this painting as he died before finishing this painting In 1911 the painting was stolen from the Louvre museum in broad daylight by a museum employee while the painting was missing the six wealthy americans were tricked into paying up to $300,000 each for fake mona lisa paintings at the time of theft the museum was shut down for 9 days the french borders was closed all the departing ships and trains were searched thoroughly it was returned 2 years later and it was inspected by the officials for the originality the title mona lisa means my lady lisa in english mona is a short form of madonna similar to how we use the title ma'am for madam to be polite some say the name mona lisa was the result of a spelling error that when shortening mia donna lisa which means my lady lisa to mona lisa but however one of the ends was dropped off by the mistake specialist from the center for research and restoration of the museums of france found that da vinci painted mona lisa up to 30 layers of paint on his work to meet his standards of quality and satisfaction added up all these layers are less than 40 micrometers which is about half of the thickness of an human hair The Mona Lisa's most famous feature is her mysterious smile. Harvard University suggested a neurological explanation the secret in the dynamic position of Mona Lisa's facial muscles where our mind's eye unconsciously extends her smile. In 2005 the painting was analyzed by the University of Amsterdam using the technique called emotion recognition software. Based on comparing her features to a neutral expansion it was concluded that the subject of a mona lisa is 83% happy 9% disgust 6% fearful and 2% angry the mona lisa has the highest insurance value of any painting in the history it was assessed in 1962 at 100 million dollars adjust for inflation its value today would be over 780 million dollars but since the french government is not likely to sell the mona lisa for any amount and it could never be replaced they haven't fixed any insurance value or price for this painting simply this masterpiece is priceless looking at mona lisa pascal cote a french engineer and founder of lumiere technology discovered a portrait hidden behind that of a mona lisa his discovery was revealed in the documentary the secrets of mona lisa broadcasted on the bbc in december 2015 though the show the specialist explains to have identified the portrait of another woman hidden under the enigmatic smile of mona lisa the incredible conclusion stems from 10 years of research during this time pascal cote studied the painting in its smallest evocation using a technique known as the layer amplificator method the technique consists in projecting intense beam of light at 13 different wavelengths on the work in order to measure the quantities of sent light back 
the result indicate the presence of four different phases of images under the surface of mona lisa among this the third presents the portrait of a woman different from mona lisa apparently anger the latter presents finer features a look in the void and shows no smile when we compare the paintings drawn at the same timeline we could see basically two kind of paintings one is person is been drawn from side view and no straight picture of a person and two is without any smiling face since painting takes more time to do it and till that it is really painful for the person to hold the smile in the lips till the painting is fully completed while painting mona lisa portrait da vinci employed people to play and sing for her and just as to keep her merry to put an end to the depressed state painters often succeeded in giving in their portraits during the year when da vinci was perfecting mona lisa smile da vinci was spending his nights in depth of the mortuary at the hospital of santa maria nova nearing his florence studio by peeling the skin of cadavers or dead body and studying the muscles and nerves underneath he became fascinated by how a smile begin to form and he analyzed every possible movement of each part of the face to determine the origin of every nerve that controlled each facial muscle da vinci's keen power of observation and he found when we pucker our lips by contracting the muscle that forms the lower lip we can pucker both lips at the same time or the lower lip alone but we cannot pucker our top lip alone it was a tiny discovery but for an anatomist who was also an artist especially one who was painting the mona lisa it is worth noting these observation and experience made da vinci's mona lisa smile so special always the mona lisa is now displayed in the lavery in a purpose built climate controlled enclosure behind bulletproof glass room this room construction cost 7 million dollars the temperature is maintained between 18 and 21 degrees celsius to compensate for fluctuations in relative humidity the case is supplemented with a bed of silica gel treated to provide 55 percentage of relative humidity hope you have enjoyed the video like the video share to your friends and subscribe for future videos